In this video, I'm going to show you how to perform a migration using the Christie Clone Manager software to an Oracle OCI cloud environment. First, we will open the Options tab, Hypervisor Settings, Add New Hypervisor, and select Oracle Cloud from the drop down list. Enter your user ID and tenant ID below. And you will also need to add the public key of the virtual appliance to your OCI cloud environment. Instructions on how this can be done are found in the article linked on screen. Once complete, press the search button to begin discovery of the OCI environment. And once complete, it will appear under the configured hypervisors tab. On the right hand side, we can set some defaults of where we would like our target machines to be created but these can be overridden on a per machine basis when setting up the replication jobs. Next, we need to deploy the Clone Manager software to the machines we wish to replicate. This can be done from the Estate tab and press Deploy Software to open the Software Deployment Wizard. We will want to select Clone Manager as the product and enter the host name or IP address along with username and password for each machine that you wish to replicate. You can use the add button to add additional lines here for as many machines as you require or use the import from CSV option to make mass deployments much easier. Once the deployment has been successful you will see your machines listed in the estate tab shown on screen. Now we can create a replication job. Select the Replication tab and select New Job. We will need to enter a name for our job and select the contract ID we wish to use for these replications. We can also specify the frequency of the periodic syncs that will run syncing changes from the source machine to the target system. You can set this minutely, hourly, daily, etc. to meet your requirements. Once you are happy with the schedule, Press save to confirm. Now we can see the job has been created and we can begin to add machines to it. Press the add replication button to do this. And select the machine that you wish to add. Select your target environment, which in this case is our Oracle Cloud environment and press the cog to open up the advanced settings. Under the disk configuration tab, we are asked if we would like to replicate all disks. Here we can choose yes or no and select individual disks and or volumes to be replicated to the target system. The hypervisor configuration tab allows you to fine tune exactly where the target machine will be created, in which region, domain, compartment, network, etc and the machine configuration tab allows further customization of the target machine that will be created within OCI. Here we can change the name of the instance, the amount of memory or CPU count assigned to the machine, and the size of the disks. By default this will match that of the original system, but it can be increased or decreased as you require. And the target configuration tab allows you to customize the network of the replicated system. Here we can change the host name or IP address or network that it will be attached to. Once happy, press save to add the system to the job. You can continue to add as many machines to a replication job as you desire or continue to create additional replication jobs for further scheduling. Now I can either wait for the schedule that I've set to kick off or I can press run now to start the replication immediately. Now the job is initializing and will run in a few stages. The first stage is creating the target machine. The Christie Virtual Appliance will log into the OCI environment and create the target machine where you have specified. It will then bring that machine online into our special replication environment where we can begin the formatting and partitioning stage to format and partition the disks to match the layout of the original system. Then we begin the full and complete replication of all files from the source system to the target system. Once it has been completed, 
we will see the status change from running to completed, where the system will then wait on the schedule that we've determined to run periodic syncs, syncing changes from the original system to the target system.